If you have been around smartphones lately, or you are shopping for one, you might have noticed everyone talking about smartphones with dual-core processor. You might hear a salesperson say, this is our newest phone equipped with the latest dual-core processor. So what exactly is a dual-core processor? In technical terms, a dual-core processor is a single CPU that houses two processors on a single integrated circuit, also known as a silicone chip each with their own cache and cache controller. It is two processors that sit side by side on the same die. Dual core processors are well suited for multitasking since each core has its own cache. The operating system has plenty of resources to compute intensive tasks in parallel. Well, you must be looking at this video and scratching the side of your head and try to understand if I was speaking English or some Martian language. For normal people, these technical terms are confusing and sometimes scary, so I'm going to turn it into plain English. Let's use your imagination for a sec. Imagine a warehouse worker restocking the shelves of a warehouse. He only uses one hand to open the box, take out an item, then place the item on the shelf. Then he opens another box and repeat the process. With dual core, now the worker can open the box with one hand, and the other hand will place the item on the shelf simultaneously. Therefore, he is multitasking and the job will be done in half the time. After having that said, why would I need a dual core processor? So as I mentioned, if you like to multitask on your smartphone, then you would want a dual core processor. You can surf the web, listen to the music, and run multiple apps, and your smartphone will run smoothly. You'll be able to hear your music play continuously and not hear pauses. That's because you have two processors to continuously deliver data. On the other hand, for a single core processor, when multitasking, the processor must switch back and forth between two or more programs. CPU resources are depleted. Performance suffers. That's where you notice your phone won't respond as quickly and you hear pauses in your music. Dual core processors in smartphones are still considered fairly new. We saw a bunch of dual core processors appear in tablets in 2011. That's because it was running Honeycomb, also known as Android 3.0. Now the latest smartphones are still running Android 2.3, known as Gingerbread. And Gingerbread cannot fully benefit from a dual core processor. But you can notice slight improvements for input and output. Currently, the only Android operating system that can take full advantage of a dual core processor are Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich. But Google has announced back in 2011 that they are not releasing Honeycomb to smartphones, only available on tablets. With that said, we'll need to wait for Ice Cream Sandwich to see the dual core processor shine. But for now, it's not a bad time to look into a dual core processor in a smartphone if you do a lot of multitasking, and then upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich later on. Some examples of smartphones with dual core processors are Joy Bionic and Droid Razor for Verizon. Samsung Galaxy S2 4G and HTC Amaze 4G for T-Mobile, Motorola Photon and HTC Evo 3D for Sprint. All the phones I mentioned are available on our website, plus more. Please visit our website at bestbargainsellphones.com. At the time I was making this video, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus just arrived for Verizon and is the very first dual-core smartphone for the United States to feature Android 4.0, which will utilize the dual-core processor. The good news is that we have this available on our website also. I hope you have a better understanding of what dual-core is. Please check our other dual-core videos regarding benefits of dual-core, and if you should get a dual core processor phone. Please share your experience with our users in the comments section.